Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Crazy Def here, back with another tutorial. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own random terrain generator in Scratch. It's super easy and only has about like three little scripts in it, and they're pretty easy to understand. And there's not tons of complicated stuff in them. Also, this um, uses clones, so if you have any stamping in um, your project, this will not mess up and get in the way of that. And if you do want to turn this into stamping, it's super easy. All you have to do is um, put stamps instead of create clones where I put create clones. So just swap all the create clones out for stamps if you want to. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using clones because it's best for um, uh, games and stuff. Okay, let's go over our costumes here. We sh um, if you want to follow along exactly, you're going to need three costumes. Um, and yeah, so also make sure to get the pixel size here. And I recommend making um, all your um, costumes here have the same X and Y pixels. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Just do that. So make sure that this is six make sure each costume says 16 and 16. Um, all mine do. So we are good. Um, but see, right here, being at 16x for all my costumes here, it's very small. So I'm going to actually um, double its size to 200. So now these pixels are um, 32 pixels instead of 16. So, yeah. So make sure that if you have the ch size changed, um, make sure that you add that in on your pixels. <coughs> okay. Let's start. Let's make a, um, a row gen. So let's call this row gen. And let's add an input. And we're going to call this height. Okay, yeah. So run this without screen refresh, or else you're seeing it generate. Um, if you want that, you can. But I'm gonna turn it off for now. So we have our row gen here, and we're gonna make one more actually. And we're gonna call this. Um, we're just gonna call this terrain. Terrain gen. All right. Uh, yes. Generate. Generate. Boom. And add an input, and we're just gonna call this our X rows. Okay. Run without screen refresh. Okay, so we don't need this just yet. I'm gonna grab one more thing, and that's gonna be a one green flag click. Okay, so we're gonna go one green flag click. Okay, and you also need to put your um, game object in the bottom left corner here. So yeah, um, I'm personally doing 20, uh, negative 20, uh, negative 220, and negative 160 for my position. So yeah. So I'm gonna go one green flag click to go to this position right here. And then we are going to uh, call our row gen. Okay, so let's begin. So first right here, we're going to grab a switch costume to and a uh, show. So we're going to hook these on. We're going to switch our costume to our grass, I mean our stone costume. And yeah, so next we want to repeat by height. Okay. And now we got to just grab a create clone of myself. And then we're just gonna grab a change Y by. And then right here, you gotta put in your pixels. Mine, again, is 16X, but by, because we have 200 here, it's 32X. So 32X right here. And this already works. Um, just let me put in our number here, seven. So what's happening here, um, if we click this, boom, we have a row of blocks. This looks great, this is fantastic. And this shows you that our code's working. Now, there's one thing that we have here, if you look here, um, we actually have one extra block up here. It should look like this, but it looks like this. So, what we just need to do, it's a super easy fix. Just put a hide at the end of your row gen script, okay? And nice. So now when we click it, boom, it's the right height. And it puts up a pillar. This is great, and it's working now. Now, there's one more thing. Um, I want to go over this code, and then we're next, we're going to make it so you can actually add the dirt to the grass on the top of your um pillar here okay okay so first what's happened here is that we're showing our uh, game object we're swapping its costume to the stone and then we're repeating however high we want this to be so we're creating a clone here and then we move up and then we create a clone and we just repeat that it's super simple okay now there's one more thing we want to have the color or the um grass on top so all you really have to do is duplicate this about three times but for now i'm just going to duplicate it once to make it um so it's uh, less complicated so remove this height and yeah so we got to do one more thing before we add this we go to the hide we actually got to subtract <coughs> we're going to subtract our height okay 
So we're going to subtract our height by 1 and repeat it that. Or, sorry, subtract it by 3. So repeat our height subtracted by 3 and yeah. So now it should make it. And now if you see, yes, it's going to be shorter, but that's because we're making room for the grass and dirt to be on top, okay? So now we're going to put this repeat in, and this is going to be a repeat. And then we're going to go height. Um, so yeah, we're going to duplicate again. We're going to go height minus one, okay? And then this should be whatever this is. This will basically equal, um, yeah, it'll just equal height minus one. Oh, no, no. Sorry, you want to grab this number and basically repeat it, um, that minus one. My bad, not height. So this is three, subtract it by one, we get two. So repeat twice, okay? Sorry. Didn't mean to get confusing there. Then we can actually just, um, grab a switch costume in here and put it right there. So in between these and set it to your, uh, dirt, which is three for me. Then you can duplicate this and put it underneath here, okay? And this one, we're going to repeat it once. So that could have, I'm sorry if that was super confusing or anything. Um, but yeah, also swap the costume here to one. So basically, we just got this code. This minus three, um, and it basically goes up. So if we have seven, it'll go up four times, swap its costume to dirt, move up twice, and then it'll swap its costume to gr uh, grass, grass, and then it'll create the clone there. So if we do it, boom, we have a dirt to grass pillar, which is awesome. Nice. Okay. So now, there's one more thing we have to do. So now, if we just come over here, we're going to actually grab our row gen and hook it onto this define. And what we need to actually do here now is we're going to go grab a repeat and we're going to put our X rows there, okay? And we need to do one more thing here, actually, in this one. I forgot this, sorry. We need to go to grab a set Y2, okay? And basically, basically all you got to put here is this go to value put here earlier so this will be negative 160 for me and yeah so basically whatever you have for the bottom value down here where your thing starts and for me that is negative 160 so grab the value when your cube is right here okay and yeah okay nice so do that and then literally just change its x by its pixels so for me that's 32 and yeah nice okay so basically just then, we need to just grab our row gen and put it inside of this repeat over here. So, again, we just grab our repeat, repeat x rows, grab our row gen that we just coded. And then, this is the random part, okay? So, I'm not going to do this part just yet. I'm going to set to 7. And then over here, okay, we're going to call our terrain generator. Or terrain generator, I mean. And set this to 7. And now, once I do this, I'm going to have 7 rows of pillars and boom as you see we have grass with stone dirt and stone so if you're looking for just this there you go it's super simple but yeah okay but um i want i want this to have some differential in the top part i want it to go down and then up and down and up and all that stuff okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over here to our row gen in this repeat right here and what i'm going to add here actually is a pick random and inside this pick random we're going to put um, five to seven, and as you can see now, once I start this up, boom, we have it changing, and the terrain is different every time. Now, the one problem here is that you have these two tall pillars, and sometimes that looks very odd. You could say so if you wanted to, you could set this to six, um, six there, so then you could go like that. But yeah, it's really up to you, and kind of just depends on what you're wanting. But yeah, it's really cool. It's always random. It changes. Um, yeah, so yeah, that works too. If you wanted to, there's all kinds of stuff. You could even make the grass to dirt different. So we could um, uh, go subtract by all kinds of stuff. You just have to store this value in the variable and stuff. So you could do a ton of stuff with this to make it even more random. I'm not going to do that with this video because this looks good enough. Um, but yeah, so that's the code. Um, I'm just going to go over basically just this part because this... All you need to understand is literally one part of this because it just repeats. Basically, we're just showing the character, switching our costume to stone, and then we're going to repeat our height minus three, basically making room for our grass. Create the clone, move up, create, boop, 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 so depending on how high. Then we swap to stone or to our dirt, creates two pillars, swaps to grass, create, and then basically moves down here for the next time it's going to make a row. 
and then over here we're just repeating this multiple times okay so that's that and then our row gen uh and then yeah and then this just chooses how many rows we want because it's repeating by that so yeah um yeah so i hope that makes sense i'm gonna show you one more time i'm gonna show you how to add ores and make random ores in this too okay so what all you gotta do is add it to your stone part so all we have to do is make let's say um I'm gonna grab one more costume, so I'll pause the video thing for a minute. Okay, so I added some diamonds in here. Okay, so now we can add some diamonds in here. Let's see, let's see how rare we want these to be. Okay, so um, yeah. So basically, we're gonna have it so these spawn in with our stone, and it's gonna be more rare than the stone. Okay. So all we gotta do, this is pretty simple. We just gotta jump back here, and we're says switch costume to two to five, uh, two to uh, four here. Is all we have to do is literally just make it choose between these two costumes. So yeah, it's pretty simple. So um, only problem here is that our pick random. We're gonna have it pick randomly, but this is from like one all the way between to ten. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm just actually gonna call this. Um, we're gonna make stone actually gonna be three. Basically, just swap these up. Make this, um, so yeah, set this to, like, five. Set this to two. Uh, set this to three. And boom. Okay, so now we have our grass is one, dirt is two, stone is three, and diamonds are four. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's switch costume to three. Okay, so it hooked everything up. It should be fine. Now, right here, where it says pick random, we're going to pick random three, two, pick random to, th oh no, okay, no, pick random to three, pick random to three, nope, pick random to four, and basically, it's picking random, oh um, my, like so it's picking either three, or it's picking random three, or it's picking up random three, or four, so basically, the more of these you put inside of one another is how rare it'll be. So we hit start. As you can see, we have some diamonds here, but there's only two of them. There's not a ton of them everywhere. So if I create them like this, as you can see, we get certain times none. And yeah, so it's great. It works. It's awesome. So yeah. Only problem you have with this part, though, is that it'll, um, once you choose it, it'll forever make that whole row of stone diamonds. And there's actually, you can fix that pretty well. Um, so, yeah, just grab the switch costume to and put it inside of this repeat. And it's pretty simple. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Put the switch costume inside of the repeat. Um, I was thinking it'd be a bit more complicated, but now that I think about it, all you gotta do is that. So now if we do it, one diamond, boom. Now you have random generation, including ores. And whenever I click it, the diamonds are there. And like sometimes you get them together, yes, but it's not gonna always be in a row. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I was gonna say I wasn't gonna like I was gonna leave for you guys to figure out, but yeah. But anyways, as you can see, I can click it and boom, there's diamonds in it. And again, if you want to make it even more rare, so you hardly ever see them, like real Minecraft, make it just like repeat and then do uh do three and four and boom, you'll hardly see them. So yeah, that's that. So um again, if you want to make more rows, you literally just increase this number. So it's it's the possibilities are in endless so in reality so yeah you can just create it we have more rows and diamonds so yeah that's that so i hope you guys enjoyed this in my next tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually store what you just generated into a list and how to load up the whole all the terrain you just created um this is kind of like required if you want scrolling and stuff so i'm going to show you guys that in my next tutorial but this video has gotten kind of long i think it's at 13 minutes or 14 now so yeah guys um if you enjoyed and you want to see more cool content like this subscribe i'm thinking about maybe doing how to make a 2d minecraft tutorial and i'll be showing you everything from inventory and um all kinds of stuff so yeah so stay tuned for that um if you want to be notified when it comes out just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell it'll notify you when it comes out and yeah and also it helps me out a ton too so yeah and if you ever want to you can just unsubscribe but yeah so thanks for staying and listening to me ramble and i'll see you guys next time